The switches can't shrink. The heat can't fall. But your appetite for intelligence, it just keeps rising, demanding more than electrons can ever provide. You feel the question pressing in, what follows silicon? Maybe the answer isn't electricity at all. Maybe it's light. Not wires, but waves. A path where data doesn't stutter. It streams. Inside a tiny chip, researchers are teaching light to think, to hold memory. And that quiet change, it might just reshape everything. For 50 years, you watched computing progress mean only one thing, shrinking transistors. Billions more packed onto tiny chips, faster, cheaper, stronger. But now, the transistor has hit a wall it cannot cross. It's only a few atoms wide. It's colliding with physics itself. Electrons slip through barriers they shouldn't. Heat builds in crushing layers. The dream of limitless scaling? It's beginning to fade. And all this time, your demands have only grown. You want AI. You want endless calculations. But silicon cannot deliver that kind of power. Data centers are blazing furnaces, drawing the energy of entire nations. You've reached the ceiling of what electrons can handle. It feels like a contradiction, doesn't it? You stand on the brink of astonishing possibility, but you're confined by the limits of your own invention. Something new must take its place. Something faster, smoother, lighter. If you believe in this new frontier and you want to see what's next, make sure you're subscribed to Drevexa. We're tracking the tech that changes everything. You need to understand the nature of light. It behaves almost alien compared to electricity. You see, electrons crawl. They're like cars in a constant traffic jam, halting, colliding, slowed by resistance. Light doesn't crawl, it slips. It moves as a wave, carrying information with almost no friction, no stops, no traffic lights. It doesn't weaken. Imagine data that never waits but moves all at once. A flash of light can bend, split, and merge, yet continue unbroken. Where electronics have to pause, toggle, zero, one, light just flows. This is why scientists turn to it. They're chasing the dream of photonics, the dream of computing while data is still in motion. But you have to ask, if light is so perfect, why aren't you already using it? Why hasn't this revolution happened? Because for all its speed, light is elusive. An electron is a particle. You can grab it. You can channel it. You can force it to stop and stay. Light, light just wants to go. It moves at the universal speed limit. It doesn't want to be held. And in computing, if you can't hold data, you have nothing. Yet, even dreams have flaws, and light hides a big one. It cannot hold memory. Think about it. Every computer you use rests on three pillars. The power to calculate, the ability to move data, and the quiet work of memory, keeping the results so you can use them again. Without memory, a machine's answers just vanish, like words spoken into the wind. Light mastered the first two. Photonic chips can compute at speeds you can barely imagine. They can carry signals almost without loss. But for memory, it fails. It cannot store information once it has passed. The compromise is costly. Data must be converted back to electrons just to be saved. Each conversion slows the process. Each slowdown drains energy. And just like that, the entire advantage of light disappears. This is the great bottleneck. We explore the tech that breaks these bottlenecks right here on Drevexa.
If you love this kind of deep dive, hit that like button. It tells us you want more. For years, this one weakness convinced you, it convinced researchers, that photonic computing might never be whole. It was the missing link. Light could calculate, it could transmit, but it slipped away too quickly to matter. Until scientists finally found a way to capture it. Their tool? A microscopic loop. A resonator. Think of it like a glass ring that traps a note when you strike it. Only this traps light. On that loop, they placed a thin, phase-change material. This is the key. The material could shift its state, storing a value while the ring guided the light. Together, they formed memory and logic. In the exact same space, you have to understand what this means. The rules were rewritten. Your data no longer needed to leave the world of light converted back to slow electrons. It could be processed and held right there, inside the light. For the very first time, light had memory. And with it, the power to become a true computer. So let this sink in. You've just witnessed the birth of the photonic transistor. For 50 years, you've been defined by the electronic one. A switch, a simple gate. But this new device, this loop, it's a gate, a memory, and a processor, all rolled into one, all powered by a beam of light. This isn't just an improvement. It's a completely new building block, a new foundation for everything that comes next. But why does this really matter? Look at the machine you're using right now. The brain and the memory sit apart. Every single result has to travel to storage, then travel back when it's needed. You're forcing it to shuttle back and forth endlessly. And that is the bottleneck. You're spending nearly 80% of your chip's energy, not on thinking, but just on moving information. It's a race car, capable of incredible speed, forced to idle in city traffic. The engine is strong. The road just wastes it. We're all about breaking bottlenecks right here on Drivexa. If you want to stay ahead of the curve and see where this road leads, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Light changes that story. With memory and computing joined in one place, the work happens instantly. The light doesn't pause, it doesn't wander. The calculation occurs exactly where the data sits. This isn't a small change, it's huge. Less energy wasted, more speed unlocked. One of the greatest traffic jams in computing, finally broken. But light isn't just fast, it has variety. You see, an electron is just an electron. They're all identical, but light Light comes in colors, and each color is its own private channel, its own path for data. That means you can take one stream of light and split it into many, all traveling together, no interference. On this new chip, researchers have already shown 32 different colors working at once. Each one acts as its own lane on a highway. You have data flowing in purple, blue, green, and red beams all computing in parallel, all inside the same tiny device. Let's put that in perspective. Your top-end CPU, it has a handful of cores, maybe 8, maybe 16. Your GPU has thousands, which is why it's good at AI. But they are all fighting for data over the same slow electronic bus. They are starved. This new chip, it's not 32 cores. It's 32 simultaneous independent computers, all running at full speed on the same chip with zero traffic. And 32 is just the start. What about 100? What about 1,000? You're not just breaking a bottleneck, you're dissolving it. In electronics, you'd need separate transistors for every single task. You'd swell the chip with complexity. But with light, it all happens in one single compact system. That is the true promise. You're looking at computing in parallel at a scale you've never seen before. 
immense data handled in a single burst of light. What once took armies of processors may soon be done by one glowing ring. So why does AI need this? You know artificial intelligence is no longer a dream. You use it in your search engine, your digital assistant. It's in massive data centers, answering billions of requests every day. But this intelligence, it's ravenous. Each query you make, each prediction, demands countless calculations. The energy cost is staggering. You've seen the reports, large models consuming more power than small cities. For the titans of tech, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, you have to understand this isn't just science, it's survival. They require faster chips that burn less power. Without them, AI's growth could collapse under its own weight. That is the kind of leap we cover every single week. If you're getting value from this analysis, hit the like button. It helps Dravexa bring you more. Photonic computing offers the escape. Imagine a processor at light speed using the energy of a desk lamp. You're not just improving AI, you're transforming its entire balance. What now strains your servers could become simple, elegant. The urgency is real. Without new hardware, AI will remain heavy, costly, unsustainable. Light offers the way forward, almost as if it was destined. But the reach of these processors goes far beyond just AI. Imagine, you could trace the birth of galaxies, you could unfold the complex shape of a protein. Today, you know those projects take months or even years on the best supercomputers. Photonic processors? They could shrink that time to days, maybe even hours. Your climate research could sharpen, modeling storms and warming trends with terrifying accuracy. Medicine could advance faster. You could simulate molecules with ease. Entire industries, from finance to transport, would feel the transformation. Because at its heart, computing isn't about machines. It's about answers. It's about shrinking the time between your question and its solution. With light, those answers may come faster than you ever thought possible. This is the future we track on Dravexa. If you're not subscribed, you're falling behind. Hit that subscribe button now. But even as this horizon expands, a warning lingers. You know every new path has obstacles, and light, as powerful as it is, still faces shadows. Even brilliant ideas have limits. You get speed, you get efficiency, but hurdles remain. The components are larger than transistors, making dense integration difficult. Those clever phase change materials, they degrade with heavy use, and your entire digital world, your servers, your code, your networks, it was all built for electrons. Replacing it with light demands a total reinvention. So you're seeing the battlefield. The challenges are clear. But what's the tipping point? It's not just one startup. It's scale. It's cost. The first company that can manufacture these photonic chips at the same price and volume as silicon, that's the moment the dam breaks. That's when the new world begins. And it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. The giants are watching. The startups are sprinting. Yet you know obstacles also spark competition. Startups are pushing designs forward. Universities are refining the methods. And the tech giants? They're watching, waiting for the one solution that can scale. The reward is enormous. You're talking about supercomputers running on the power of a light bulb. Whoever cracks this challenge first, they don't just win a market. They define the next era of intelligence. The road is uncertain, but the race is on. And the prize is nothing less than the future of computation. We will be following that race every step of the way. Hit the like button if you're ready for that future. So, you see, a tiny chip, no larger than your fingertip, now holds the impossible. Light with memory. For decades, electrons built your digital world, but their limits are exposed. Photons reveal another path, 
faster, cleaner, nearly weightless. The road ahead isn't easy. The contest has only just begun. Yet the shift, it feels certain. One day, you will have machines that don't just run on light, they will think in it. And when that day comes, you will look back and see, this was where the future first began to glow. Thanks for watching Dravexa. We'll see you in the next one.